Hey there, it's time for my vlog again, it's late again, it's nearly 2 o'clock, but uh, yeah, I should have done it earlier. We went to the pictures, I saw the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie, it was cool, it was good stuff. Um, yeah, I saw the posters for Wonder Woman and uh, Justice League, they're going to be excellent as well, because all superhero movies are excellent. Just you know, some are more excellent than others, maybe. But there are no shit superhero movies, okay? Stop saying that. Stop posting fucking smack about fucking superhero movies. Because all it's going to do is make there be less superhero movies, and we need as many as we can get because they're awesome, okay? Stop slagging off Marvel or DC or whatever. Just take them on whatever merits they have and stop slagging them off. Because I remember when I was young, we never had any decent superhero movies. Now we've got shit loads. The last thing we need people to do is slag them off, though. Right, it's late and I'm tired, so I'm not going to do much today. I'm going to do my history on this day, and I'm going to do a random poem. Okay, that's all you're getting. That's more than enough. I'm tired. So let's start off with a random poem. I hope it's not a long one, eh? Let's hope it's not too long. Actually, what I'll do, I'll just do a random 25 line or less poem, I think. Let's do history on this day first, uh, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, first off, financial news. I am not a millionaire. Shock horror, I know. Some hard to believe when so many people watch my vloggy vlog videos. It's, uh, yeah, no, sorry, I'm a mistake. Nobody watches my vloggy vlog videos. What am I talking about? Right. Uh, come on. Come on, you silly thing. Go. Right, yeah, trying to get my. Uh, I didn't open up pages in advance because I was tired and I thought it'd open up quickly for me. But yeah, I uh, don't know what I was dreaming of there, thinking they would open up quickly, taking bloody forever. Alright, on this day in history, in 1536, on the 19th of May, Anne Boleyn, Henry VIII's second wife, is executed on probably fabricated charges of adultery and incest. Because, like, you know, most people in power, Henry VIII was a complete wanker. And he just wanted to get rid of her, and he fucking could, by chomping up charges against her, because he was the bloody king, and she was just a woman, you know, women were treated like shit. Still, a lot of them are in this day, it's getting better, but in other parts of the world where women are treated very, very badly, and, uh, yes, quite a lot of them are treated quite badly everywhere in the world, so, uh, well, hopefully things will continue to improve. Anyway, on this day in 1897... Irish playwright Oscar Wilde is released from prison after a two-year sentence for gross indecency. Yes, that's uh, more people that we were shipped to in history. Gay people treated like criminals for simply loving someone from the same genital group. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at that because it's, uh, it's the way uh, it said it. It's um, a sketch from uh, Not Me Malikot News, Ryan Eckerson. Talks about people loving someone from the same gentle group, and he says in a funny voice. Uh, anyway, on this day in 1943, Churchill and Roosevelt agree the 1st of May 1944 as the final date for the D-Day landings. But they actually go ahead on the 6th of June. Okay, so May Day was going to be D-Day originally, but then they turn it to the 6th of June. And as I said before on this uh, show, lot war, it was war, and war is hell, and lots of people died. A lot, a lot of people died on D-Day landings. Fucking Jesus, war. War, man, it's so bad. Uh, it's quite a long poem, I'm going to read it anyway. Camille Rankin is the name of this poet. There's a, there's a poem here called The Current Isolationism. In the half-light I am most at home, my shadow as company. When I feel hot, I push a button to make it stop. I mean this stain on my mind. I can't get out. How human. I seem like modern man. I traffic in extinction. I have a gift. Like an animal I sustain. A flock of birds, when touched I scatter. I won't approach until the back is turned. My heart betrays. I confess. I am afraid. How selfish of me. When there's no one here. I half the distance between our bodies infinitesimally. infinitesimally in this long passageway, I pose against the wallpaper, dig my heels in, catch the light. In my vision, the back door opens on a garden that is always in bloom. The dogs are chained so they cannot, can't attack like I know they want to. In the next yard over, 
honey bees bee swarm and their sound is huge. Yes, that was Camille Rankin, the current isolationism from incorrect merciful impulses, which is copyright last year. So she must be a current poet, poet, say poetess, but I don't think we differentiate uh, for male and female poets like we don't differentiate between male and female actors now. It used to be actresses, didn't it? But now they're all actors, I believe, as the, is how it is uh, differentiated now. Don't differentiate between the sexes and, and jobs. You don't need to. I don't think. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I don't know what the current. I won't say it's a trend with the current um, thinking on such things. Anyway, whatever. Just hardly matters. Right. Poetry. Yeah. I don't understand poems. Well, sometimes they have like here this poem. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna find it. Yeah. Right. So the second and third verse I suppose to call it when I feel hot I push a button to make it stop I mean this stain on my mind I can't get out how human and then there's a gap and then it goes on to the next stanza or verse but it carries on from the previous one so am I meant to put a gap in there a pause in there or am I meant to stream straight over to the next one but if I stream straight over to the next one why is there a point of putting a gap in it but if you put a gap in it, it doesn't seem right. So it says, when I feel hot, I push a button to make it stop. I feel, I mean this stain in my mind. I can't get out. How human I seem, like modern man. But I don't know. Should it be a how human I seem, like modern man? It's, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't get where the gaps are meant to go. Why is a gap when the next sentence seems to carry on for it? Like on this one, the, the line above says, when there's no one here, I half. And then there's a big gap. And the next verse starts with the distance between our bodies infinitesimally. Great, right, right, that time from infinitesimally. But why is there a gap? Why did, Why is there a gap? Should I pause? Should I not pause? But if I pause, it doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Weird. Poems are weird. Poets are weird. I'm weird. Blogs are weird. Vlogs are weird. Bloggy, bloggy, blogs are weird. He's a good, he's a good, he's a good. He's a good. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I will sleep tightly. It's nearly two o'clock in the morning. Good night, vlogger files. Thank you for watching my vloggy, vloggy, vlog, vlog. I'm going to sleep. <laughs>